Hi, my name's Amy. I will be your polyglot for Fridays. You might know me on Tumblr as Ninki Inuit, Kelasai, or Shy Polyglot. My focus languages for 2013 are Japanese, Mandarin Chinese, and Korean. Korean is also the first language that I have self-studied, so that's been quite an experience. I've also studied, well, too many other languages to count, but I'm not really fluent in any of them. My language adventure started when I was seven or eight, and my mom decided to put me into a Spanish immersion program at my school. So I was taught a lot of Central American Spanish, and it wasn't until high school that I figured out there was a difference between Latin American Spanish and Spain Spanish. Around middle school I decided I wanted something more challenging, so I took up Japanese, and I've kind of been steadily adding to my language bank ever since. One of the things that motivates me to learn languages is the fact that the U.S. is slowly becoming more multicultural, and we have a lot more people coming to the U.S. to learn English, at least in Oregon the number has been skyrocketing. And I like being able to talk to people in their native language since they're coming over here and putting so much effort into learning my language. I'm in my last year of uni. I'm studying Japanese and second language acquisition, which means I get to take all of the really fun classes, like the Japanese folklore class, the translating modern Japanese lit into English, and you know, just the really cool classes that you have to take all of those sucky prereqs for. I'm in the home stretch, and I hope this year goes smoothly. Some of my hobbies include writing. I'm a huge NaNoWriMo fan, even if I never complete a novel in 30 days. And dancing. I like various forms of dance. And, of course, sitting in my room and studying languages and going up to people who speak those languages and trying to have a conversation. Naturally, I also like international movies and music. That's actually where I get a lot of my motivation to learn Korean from, that and my Korean friends, and being able to talk to the Korean chefs I've known who run sushi and Japanese restaurants over the years. So if you're on Tumblr, feel free to message me in any of my languages, including all the ones that scrolled by right here. I would love to practice, and if it's your native language, feel free to challenge me. So next week we're going to be talking about false friends or the cognates between our different languages and how they might mean something surprising even if they sound like the same word. So you'll be seeing Eddie on Monday and I will talk to you all next week. Annyeong!